Can you tell me what today's about? Okay, so today's about Ardash launching its staff networks. We've got a BAME staff network that's been in existence for a year and it's working really well. But what we want to do now is extend the staff networks to two other protected characteristic groups and that's disabled and LGBTQ. The power of staff networks means that it's getting people together that can support one another, offer each other peer support, but they also can look into the organisation and get the organisation to realise things that are impacting on them, whether that's within their work life or in their home life. Also the organisation can come to the staff networks and use them as people who are expert in their own their own being so when they're wanting advice on what to implement whether they're looking at services or whether they're looking at policies they can go to these groups and use them for advice and support so we've got a packed house today we've got sharon the key speaker you expecting a really positive day yes i think Sh sharon was, is, is, has been instrumental in developing staff networks within organizations um, she's got a lot of experience uh, she's written a book about it so she can come into our organization and look at some of the um, advantages and disadvantages for implementing networks and look at how we uh, in our dash can sustain staff networks by supporting our staff in attending them and also getting the managers to be able to release them and to, to look at sponsorship from the executive and non-executive directors. So she's going to go through all of those elements of staff networks. So we, we're starting off on a good footing. It's a good foundation for us to have Sharon here and speak to a wide audience. Well, I'm here today to celebrate with Rotherham, Doncaster and South Humberside as they embrace staff networks. I know that when people feel included, when they feel that they have a voice, when they feel that they, they can bring their whole selves to work, they just give better patient care. So I'm here to work with them to help understand how to harness the real power that their networks can bring and how to make this organisation a truly inclusive one so they continue uh, providing great care to patients and service users around the country.